This building is a Freemasons Lodge, but who actually are the Freemasons? Can you join them? And will it give you new business connections, a huge professional network, and the ability to help steer the course of history? Let's find out what's inside a Masonic Lodge because today we're talking tactics. Welcome to Talking Tactics, where we give you the news, information, and tactics that you need to thrive in the business world. Before we get started, remember to leave a like on this video. It really helps us get seen on YouTube so we can keep bringing you more videos just like this one. Freemasonry refers to a private club, sometimes theorized to be a secret society. But there are actually signs of their existence all around us, right out in the open. And you can see their Masonic lodges, which are basically their clubhouses, in locations all around the world. But what do Freemasons actually do? There are many conspiracies about this group floating around online. Theories about the Freemasons usually fall into three categories, political, religious, and cultural. The cultural theories usually say that Freemasons are secretly influencing pop culture, adding their logos, symbols, and numerology into modern culture, such as corporate logos, movies, music, or artwork. Religious Freemason theories say that the group secretly worships Satan, or it is a cult in nature, and worship their own particular god. And the political theories point to the Freemasons secretly controlling world governments, especially in the United States and United Kingdom, quietly pulling the strings so that world events will happen the way that they want them to, to the benefit of their members. Who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do. We do. Like the Stonecutters, the secret society that Homer joined in The Simpsons, the Freemasons are also theorised to be controlling world events and deciding what knowledge should be shared with the wider world. They supposedly also have strong links to other well-known secret societies, such as the Skull and Bones Society, the Secret Fraternity at Yale University in the USA, and the Bohemian Grove Meeting. The Bohemian Grove is a meeting of the Bohemian Club, a private club formed in 1872, whose membership has included numerous ex-US presidents, global leaders, and powerful CEOs of large organizations. It's often difficult to become a member of the Freemasons as there are different requirements for candidates around the world. And there are strange rituals and processes that new candidates must go through in order to be accepted into the group. But once you are a member of this secret society, you could enjoy special privileges and gain access to secret knowledge that you can take advantage of to amass great knowledge and power and riches. Sounds like a great way to boost your business prospects, right? So how much truth is there to these theories? Well, as I said earlier, I'm in a Masonic Lodge right now in the suburb of Kedron in Brisbane, Australia. And I think it's time for me to find out what's really going on. And I'll put on a clever disguise. So anyone catches me, I'll blend right in and they'll think I'm just another member. Done. Now hopefully they don't have some kind of secret handshake because I don't know what it is. Let's go. Okay, we got some bike racks. I mean. That's not too crazy, right? I mean, some of the members might commute every month to their meetings on a bike. It's kind of like a end of trip facility for an office building. Speaking of end of trip facilities, look at these lovely bathrooms and showers. I guess members need to occasionally change out of their ceremonial robes. And look at all this lovely terrazzo bench and terrazzo flooring. It's been really nicely renovated. Terrazzo is a composite material generally used for floor or wall treatments and usually consists of chips of marble, quartz, granite, glass, or other suitable materials. It's poured in place, sometimes divided into sections so that patterns can be created. One of the most famous examples of terrazzo flooring is the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <gasps> the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Terrazzo flooring? They're intertwining their secret symbols into modern pop culture. What other secrets can we find in this building? Ah, yes, of course. This is the uh, Freemasons climbing wall. Okay, I'm a little bit confused about this one. When would the Freemasons ever have used a climbing wall? They didn't have these back in the 13th century. I guess it must be part of the new renovations that the building's undergone. And upstairs we have the breakout room. We've got a golfing green, a ping pong table, a basketball hoop. But where are the sacrificial altars and all the secret chambers What that I was expecting? What is this building? Here's a picture that I found online of what the ceremonial hall here in this lodge should look like. But the room now looks like an office space. A pretty cool and funky office, but not the ancient temple full of secrets and rituals that I was expecting. 
This Masonic Lodge now has new owners and has been completely renovated and redesigned to become a new commercial space in Brisbane's north. It includes modern end of trip facilities including bike racks and showers, a large breakout space with a putting green, basketball hoop and barbecue deck, plus a feature rock climbing wall. It has high ceilings, new windows, creating great natural light throughout the space, plus excellent passive natural ventilation. With timber flooring and some of the original features from the old lodge remaining, this building exudes character charm. Approximately 8 kilometres from Brisbane CBD and located on Gympie Road, the city's major northern arterial, the building is part of its own little community, with dining, shopping and transport options right on its doorstep. Okay, so while I technically did get into a Masonic Lodge, I didn't get to find out all the secrets of the Freemasons. But as it turns out, there's a lot of information on the group online, often explained by the Freemasons themselves. They keep certain things to themselves, but a lot of history and info about them can be found out just by Googling them. It seems it used to be a secret society, but now they're just a society with a few secrets. It's a secret. Shut up. But I did discover some pretty interesting stuff about this new commercial property that is now available for lease. If you're interested in checking it out, please get in touch with us at tacticproperty.com. This building really does have a lot of history. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when we upload the next video. My name is Mel Picos, and we've been talking tactics.